Is there more to current global drug policies than violence and prisons? Can it be really termed decades of failed policy making as some have and continue to do so? Are there no success stories buried in this avalanche, what we hear of somber news? I think these questions are really crucial because as we move to board towards this debate on reform, which we undoubtedly will have, shouldn't we be more precise regarding which parts of the international system do not work, need fixing, and which of, what, what, of those elements of the international regime have worked? And so the CEU School of Public Policy is very pleased to join the Open Societies Foundation's Global Drug Policy Program in hosting this afternoon's panel with world leading experts on the international drug control regime. It's not a black and white prohibition legalization issue, but it, it has been a gradually growing international control system which for the first 50 years basically introduced more regulatory measures. And what we find overwhelmingly that statistic, there was no statistically significant increase in levels of drug use in those jurisdictions that had adopted a decriminalized approach. There is enormous room for working with the control system, with the conventions as we have them, by recognizing the fact that in their implementation on several places we've gone wrong. Drugs are 1% of global commerce nowadays. All this money is going into uh, obscure channels. All this money is basically used against society. And how can possibly, how can there be possibly any any benefit from this regime. What happens if the federal government of the US decides to tolerate the uh, regulatory systems in the states of Colorado and Washington which are clearly not in line with the spirit and letter of the conventions? Is there any further mechanisms the UN system can pressurize the US government to do something? Is it possible to think ahead when the, the UN Assembly is going to meet in 2016 of thinking a framework that is not a multilateral system of a consensus of how to deal with this issue, but that it has a very cultural differentiation on how to agree with these things. <laughs>